If we go in here and it doesn't smell weird, we're in the wrong place. I agree. Wednesday seems to have nicked myself. That's what will end me during the apocalypse. It'll be a little cut off of a rabbit feeder or a hangnail and it will get infected. That's what that's what'll end me. Won't be zombies, won't be anything super crazy or cool. I just let these birds out. They've only been out a couple times and uh, they're not sure how to deal. Developing pecking order it would seem. I'm sure there's a couple boys in there too that will end up being dog food soon. I'm gonna go ahead and muck out that chicken coop. my intention. We'll see how this arm does here. The nasty straw on top is at least dry. The stuff underneath it stinks, it's wet, and it's slippery. So I should probably start from the back first so I don't have to keep slipping around in that stuff. Pretty smelly, that's what I just found. And then here's another one also. One, two, three, four, five. Steroids, let's talk about steroids. We used to call it steroids, now we call it hormone replacement therapy. Testosterone, it's all the same thing. I guess steroids can be a lot of other things in addition to testosterone, enanthate, or sipinate. Why are we talking about this? I'm 50 years old. Um, I've used testosterone and, and other things. I've used it over my life for about the last 20 years, just testosterone, off and on, years with, years without. And now it is very easy to legally have testosterone. And you will think that, you know, you've been programmed to think a lot of different things. Oh, they're dangerous to you. They'll take years off of your life. All kinds of stuff that the media has just told you. Big Pharma actually has told you. How many things have you heard about in the last, that you can even think about of just the last 24 months, that you're told works and the, the test studies show these great numbers and then media and Big Pharma tells you, oh no, you'll die. You need to take this other thing that's way worse for you and costs way more money. So testosterone. We're talking about this right now because it's it's about 8.30 in the morning and my day is all discombobulated, it's disheveled. Not really, I'll still do everything I have to do, I'll just compress it and do it quicker. I'm about to go feed the animals right now, then I leave here and I go to Clarksville, which is about an hour from here, and I do blood draw, we just do our labs. Amanda and I, women, use testosterone also, as well as other hormones to balance them out. And it's not just about muscle growth, it's about brain clarity, brain fog, thought processing faster, it's about better sleep, it's about feeling better, hurting a little bit less, it amplifies everything in your life when your hormones are correct. And some of you can do that through diet. More so, it's not as much about diet as removing things from your diet. All the processed stuff, all the corn syrups. There is a lot of shit that the average U.S. citizen eats on a daily basis, which if you look at the science on it, you would almost think they have designed it like that so that you will get sick and you will need other medications in your life. It's almost like also that they have designed your diet like that so that it will slow slow you down so that you will not have drive and the will to be a high performer or start your own business, but instead to remain as an employee. And there's a lot of reasons for that tax base and you know, why do all these cities and these towns take all these unincorporated areas, and incorporate them, and they pass all these laws that any house that's manufactured, there has to be 2,500 square feet. Why is that? Well, because 2,500 square feet comes with a second spouse or adult paying on the mortgage, thus having to work and tax base and 2.5 kids. So school money, it comes with a 
whole lot of things. It's by design. But your hormones, it's not just about muscle. Now, I think you would be foolish to have availability to testosterone and not work out because it would definitely make your workout progress faster, a little bit easier, and you would have drive as well. You'll have motivation with testosterone. There's a lot of things that come with it. So I'm going to go up and get blood work done, and they just mail all my stuff to me. I'll talk to Jerry and see if we can put him on camera and kind of just discuss for a minute how do you do this as a client, right? And you can do almost all of it through the mail. I have been using these guys for a couple years now. All the TAC response guys have used these guys for several years now, and I send out one of their business cards with every package that we ship. So it's definitely accessible to you, and if you haven't had the conversation, my insurance, I don't believe my insurance covers this. I believe I pay out of pocket, and I think I'm about $175 a month, all included. That includes everything you need. That includes the testosterone, that includes alcohol wipes, that includes needles, and you don't have to be scared of needles. It's a little tiny needle about the width of a hair, and you just put it in your belly fat now. And if you are scared to death, they have creams. They have all kinds of stuff you can take. I don't get paid. I don't get a discount. I don't get anything from these guys. I am just having a conversation with you about something that has the potential to make your life hugely different with very little effort. So I'm going to go feed animals right now so that this is done, and then we're going to jump in the car and uh, head up to Clarksville. Oh, look, my driver has brought my vehicle around. I left all the chickens out last night. After I mucked out their coop, they seem very happy. Apparently I left a rabbit coop open also. That's what happens a lot of times when you deviate from your normal everyday plan, things change. That's why when I say when you go through the gate, always lock the gate because you never know what gate you're going to go back through. So if you make things a habit and you do them over and over and over, you don't have to think about them. You just do them. And then if something deviates or changes, it doesn't create or amplify a problem. Like locking this gate. Because I got sidetracked yesterday, I had to go into the building in the middle of doing these animals. And apparently I left that cage open. Not a problem at all. I orient the cages in a manner that they have shade if they need it. Oh, something's happening here. What's going on? I thought it was a four-wheeler. My suspicion is there's some rabbit rape going on. Rape, murder, awesome and rape. You said rape twice. I like rape. Something's squealing. I actually thought maybe I had a rabbit that got caught in the four-wheeler the way I was hearing it, but it was just coincidence that it was one of these rabbits squealing. Hello, hello, birds. I can smell you from here. You stink. Let's see how fast we can get these guys to coop up here with some feed. Oh, they've been digging through this. They dug through all this too. This trough was full. It doesn't stink in here anymore. Just mucking that out. Smells like potting soil now. The ones in the kennel there can't figure out how to get out, dummies. I'll pull it towards the back, just on the ground, because it'll push them back, so they're more interested in going backwards. And then the new ones running up will have room to get in. Looks like I have one, two. That one I don't think belongs to that pen. Three, four. These two definitely belong, these two blondes here. Out the door, the other door. I'll try to get these guys to go to safety a lot of times, just so they're put away at night. Those blonde ones there, whatever those birds are, are really a pain in the ass. Like it gets to the point after I chase them around the coop four or five times and they don't walk in the open door, I just walk away and I'm like, I hope something eats you tonight. It's your own doing. 9.35, I thought you wanted to leave here at nine. No, I said shortly after breakfast. But I haven't had breakfast yet. Not your breakfast, the breakfast that I cook for them. But I'm hungry, can't eat until after we do the labs, so can you go? You got any cool stuff with you? Like what? Well, I have all kinds of cool stuff with me. Oh, like what? Well, this camera's pretty cool. Yeah. The drone back there's pretty cool. This watch is pretty cool. This Strider knife is pretty cool. This Premier Fence catalog is pretty cool. And we're bringing back live animals. What kind of live animals should we get? Um, I think we should get a zebra. I don't think there's going to be a zebra today. I'll bet you there's somewhere there, there's somebody with a zebra there. How about a mini pony? No poop. Well, of course it poop. Kind of has to fit in a box or a bag to bring it back today. We could get a trailer and bring something back, but then we'd have to get a real truck that would pull a real trailer. Sure. I know there's a cool Jeep truck up there. It's on 37th, it's pretty rad. Okay. I'm going to bring a human skeleton back with us. Big monster there, huh? I guess I'll take it. I didn't even feel his. It was like in and out, no problem. Stop looking at it. I look at it every morning. I know. Yeah. Cool yellow tail. This place was awesome. We've actually come here a few times, never eaten here. The wait was always too long. 
I brought some 25 ton dumbbells for you. You brought them for me? Yeah, they're in the back. Awesome. I bought a swordfish here. I like that swordfish. It's like you with my penis. <laughs> we can get you this water fountain. Mm. Are we going to put it next to the bed? That's exactly where I was thinking we put that, it. That way when you can get up in the middle of the night and get a drink of water. Or put it right next to the toilet. So you can drink and pee at the same time? With one hand. I mean, I can still use my phone with the other hand. Get that barber pole. I could turn it on when I cut your hair. I told you I was going to buy a skeleton while we are out. I'm going to bring a human skeleton back with us. There's part of it, we just have to find the other parts now. I can just get a box of paper clips and we can just silver sharpie them. Not the same. Mm, it's pretty much the same. They have a gold sharpie. I have one at the shop. Not the same. Same. So I just bought this. I've wanted a Cigar Indian for a long time. And we saw a couple today that were okay. They had some real damage, like the split in them was pretty separated at the other place. But this one was sitting here. I didn't see a price on it. I really didn't think he was gonna sell it. Eight feet, I don't think I can put it in the Forerunner. So it's been here, I've seen it here before. So we're gonna leave it. I already paid for it, we're gonna leave it. And then uh, we'll come back with a trailer or something, pick it up, solid wood, or at least most of it is. It's all wood, it might not all be one piece though. This is the place I saw my first Jeep truck. It was parked right here and you could just walk right out and get in the bed of it. It was on 37. He said that thing's eight feet tall. Is that what he said? Seven to two. It won't fit upstairs. It will. It'll fit in the pitch. You mean in the walkway? It'll fit right where you walk? Yeah, but I can move the rugs and move the walkway. <laughs> duh. I got you duh. You are my duh. No. You know duh is the first letters in what word? Donut? Daddy. D-U-H is not in daddy, honey. Duh. D-A. <laughs> go ahead and say it. Daddy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. If we go in here and it doesn't smell weird, we're in the wrong place. I agree. If you ever go to a surplus store and it doesn't smell weird, it's not surplus. It's new shit that's made to look like surplus, most of it China. You know you're in the right place if it has a weird odor. The most awesome one up here is in like a mobile home trailer. And to see what he has, you have to like move other shit off the top of it to see what's underneath it. So typical now, they want you to look at it online. I don't want to look at it online. I want to look at it in person so that I can feel it and see, you know, is it coated in something? Thing. Is it, you know, yeah. sun bleached or whatever? You have fucking paint on it. Does it not have a weird odor because you're not selling us actual surplus? Yeah, I mean, does it have CS residue all over it? You smell it? Oh, I smell it. These are pretty cool. I wonder where we buy these at. You can just put shade cloth over these. Blueberries. Blue Ridge blueberries. Fig, Chicago. That's what I want is Chicago figs. Do those say Chicago on them too? All right, yeah, we'll get some of these. Open your mouth. Can you put my hand in your mouth? Absolutely not. We'll work on that. Some bathrooms are just totally nasty. And then other places like, you're like, oh, I know that place has the best bathroom. Yes. It's warmed up, so everybody thinks they need to take their clothes off. Mm -hmm. Well, white and black one? Yeah. Oh, I have a cage full of it. This one looks dead. Are you dead? He doesn't know any tricks. And these are guineas here. I think there's enough guineas. I try to kill them every day. Did you want to look at this 14 foot trampoline? I'd rather have a pool than a trampoline. You don't want one of these. It says no sitting. 
Yeah. I'm not sitting. I'm swinging. I don't identify as sitting. That's right. Yeah, that one says don't sit too. I can't see that. It's way above my eye level. It's got a camel toe vent. It's called a gusset. Clearly it's for camel it toe. Is not. Look, it even looks like a camel toe. Look, it comes pre-toed. These shorts say Lance all over them. <laughs> One full bag of onions is $63. Of course they're cute with your butt in them. Huh? They look really good on my back too. As soon as you wear the black and red ones every day, next year you can get some gray and black ones. How many black and red ones do you have? I bought a pair in Atlanta, bought a right. pair here. Those are for fox hunting. We're going to have to go fox hunting a few times this year. We bought one long thousand foot tube of trash bags. <laughs> Well, what's more important, thickness or length? Yes, thickness is definitely. Thickness is more length. You just started a naked garden channel. The easiest way to carry these is why just to grab. Why don't we just... Oh, look, zip ties. I like zip ties. All right, you just stand there and be pretty. Okay, I'm good at that. Sure. Are you hungry? You look hungry. Yeah. That's the latch that breaks. These pins actually come out of here. It's always the one on the right side where the fuel cans are. That is the third time that these assemblies have failed. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm listening. Are you grumpy? Why? I don't know. So we're going to go back and have sushi again? Man, I'm talking about Willis, one of the realest to try. My family, SOE, got the tools to survive. Yeah.